Hi everybody, today we are going to find values of functions and we'll do this in multiple ways. We'll look at a table, we'll use function notation, and we'll look at a graph. We know that the notation y equals f of x defines a function of f. Because this is read as y is a function of x, we want to remember that x is the independent variable and y, or f of x, is the dependent variable. This is, as we plug in x, it determines what value of y will be produced. Let's start by looking at a table of values. When you're looking at the table of values, you want to make sure that you look at the x versus the f of x. So think x is the input, then f of x is the output. Let's start with f of 0. On the table, you want to line up the 0 and look underneath to see the number negative 4. This says that f of 0 is negative 4. Let's do that again with the number 7. Look on the table for the x value of 7 and look at the output value which says 45. So we have f of 7 is 45. If we want to go in the opposite direction, that says we know our output and we want to find our input. This time I want to figure out when is f of x equal to 5. So I'm going to look at the bottom row, find the number 5, and then look up at the x value. That tells me that x is equal to 3. When we switch to function notation, we're plugging in the values to determine our output. This time I have f of x is 5x plus 4, and I have multiple values I want to evaluate. We'll start with f of 3. To find f of 3, I multiply 5 times 3, and then I add 4. 5 times 3 is 15. When I add 4, I get 19. To find f of negative 2, I take 5 times negative 2, and then I add 4. Negative 2 times 5 gives me negative 10, then I add 4, which gives me negative 6. Our last one says f of 0. This is 5 times 0 plus 4. 0 plus 4 gives us 4. We use the same strategy for every type of function that we're given. So if we switch to a rational function, like f of x is x plus 8 over x minus 4, and we're trying to find f of 0, we'll find 0 plus 8 over 0 minus 4. This is 8 over negative 4, which we know reduces to negative 2. Let's try that again with negative 2. I have negative 2 plus 8 over negative 2 minus 4. Negative 2 plus 8 gives me positive 6. Negative 2 minus 4 gives me negative 6. This reduces to negative 1. Let's try one more time, f of 3. I have 3 plus 8 over 3 minus 4. In the numerator, I have 11. In the denominator, I have negative 1. So I write negative 11 as my final answer. To evaluate graphs of functions, we'll look at points on the graph. Given the x value, we want to state the y value. So we're going to start with x equals 0. When I look up at the graph, I see a y value of 2. That tells me f of 0 is 2. When I move over to x being negative 1, I look up on the graph and see a y value at 3. So f of negative 1 would be equal to a positive 3. When x is equal to 3, I locate the point on the graph, which this time says it's at 5. This is f of 3 equals 5. The next two give us a value of y, and we're trying to locate the value of x. Let's start with f of x is equal to 1. Think of drawing a horizontal line on the function and finding all the places where the graph touches the line. In this case, I can see I have two points. I have f of x is equal to 1 at the x value of 1, and also f of x is equal to 1 at the x value of 5. I have two solutions, both 1 and positive 5. When f of x is equal to 4, we can again draw a horizontal line through the value y equals 4. This shows me I have three solutions negative 2, positive 2, and positive 4. So we'll write x is negative 2, positive 2, and positive 4. 